So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to link up GitHub and VS Codeium or VS Code under Linux. Hi everyone, I'm going to keep this intro super short. We're going to move straight over to my computer, but basically what we're going to be doing is hooking up GitHub and uh, VS Codeium. These instructions also do apply to VS Code uh, under Linux, although to be honest, you could use the same uh, the same steps under Windows and uh, Mac OS also as well. Uh, but basically we're going to head over to there now and I'm going to show you how to hook up so you can do push and pull and all your comments and issues via VS Codeium slash VS Code uh, using your GitHub account. So now that we're at the computer, we're going to load up VS Codeium. Remember that these uh, instructions also apply to VS Code as well. So I've loaded up into a project. The first thing we're going to want to do is to head over to extensions on the left hand side and it's going to load the extensions from the marketplace. Give this a few seconds if it does take a little while. So now that I've loaded up, you'll see the second most popular one right now is GitHub pull requests and issues. If that's not there, just search it in the bar here and it will show up. It's got almost a million downloads. Click on that and then click on install. It will take a few seconds to install. And once it's done on the left hand side, you should see an icon with the GitHub icon. So we can click on that. Now, when you click on this, you're going to find a sign in button. So when you click on sign in, what's going to happen is that VS Codeium and this extension is going to ask to generate the correct codes it needs to uh, allow a token to access VS Codeium and GitHub backwards and forwards. So we're going to click on allow. We're going to say continue to GitHub and we're going to say open to open up a web page. And what's going to happen is it's going to load up a web page uh, on GitHub and you can see here that it's generated everything we need for it to work. It's asked for all the correct things we need it to do. Uh, we can click on generate token. And uh, once it's generated the token, uh, we're going to click on uh, the copy token here. I'm going to reset this one after, but we're going to click on copy and then you're going to go to VS Codium and then you're going to paste this code in. You're going to hit enter. Now, once you've done that, as you can see, because I have one project open already, it's actually already picked issues and everything from that project itself. And if you click on accounts at the bottom, it will actually show you that you're logged in to that uh, account, which is really cool. So if you go up to your uh, project and we go to index here, uh, what we can do is we can add some code. And if we were to type in some changes, like this is, uh, we'll say a change. Now I'm gonna hit save. And when you hit save, your source control is going to update accordingly also. Click on that. And you can see here that we have um, like a, a commit button. So we can say, yes, we're going to commit this change. We're gonna sit commit and we're going to ask for a uh, message for this so we're going to say uh, test vs codium and then we're going to hit the tick button and we're going to hit save and that's it and now uh, obviously when you go to sync all your changes it's going to sync that now when you go to sync changes it's going to ask for another token so when you click on sync changes it will say yes okay we'll create a new token it'll say continue to github and we're going to call this one sync. So now it's going to generate a new token with the sync workflow already enabled. And then we're going to click generate token. Fine. We're going to click copy on that. And then we're going to go back to VS Codium. And we are going to paste that in and hit enter. Now, there you go. If we go back to GitHub, I'm going to go to my repositories here. I'm going to open up the website template. And as you can see, one minute ago, this file was updated. We're going to click OK on that. And you can see here, this is a change. You can see that it was uh, put in correctly, which is what we want. Now, the reason for two tokens is because one is actually requesting a kind of push and pull request to download from GitHub. The other one is kind of syncing because that's a technically another request. Now, you can generate one token to do this also. However, if you just want to get stuff done, just allow the extension and VS Codium to just generate the tokens for you and then just approve the tokens, paste them in, and then it has what it needs to work. And then you can sync everything between VS Codium and GitHub. It's super simple as that. Uh, if you have any questions, please do leave a comment down below. Uh, if you have some improvements or you want to know something more about what we just done. Otherwise, I hope that this worked really well for you.